here is a, a controls demo. We'll do this the C++ builder version of this one to show uh, the scaling of the user interface. So if I build this application, it shows that we've got tab notebook, we've got a menu bar, we've got all sorts of different user interface controls that, that are available, uh, animated indicator and so on. So let's just run this application first on Win32. And uh, and here we have a window, and we can resize it. And of course, it resizes. But if we also want to scale the contents inside the window, we've got this track bar associated with it. Since these are all vector drawn, uh, they scale very nicely. And that works because over on uh, the user interface, we have a we're using a T layout. And the T layout that holds the tab control can be scaled, and we can set the scale uh, factors. Uh, and we'll do that. We do that over here with the track bar. So on the T track bar, I say scale track change, and all it does is it says the scale of the X and Y of that control root, which contains the tab notebook, set it to be the value of the scale track, and that's some some percentage, however uh, large you make the the track bar. In this case, let's look at what the track bar, uh, the track bar values are. The min in this case are set to Max is 200% and, and 50%, but we could set those to whatever we wanted. You can also set that uh, that the areas auto scale. That way, whatever resolution you run the application, it'll automatically scale uh, to that resolution, or you can have it uh, for the user interface to do it as well. We'll compile and run it on Macintosh. This is a C++ version now uh, versus a Delphi application to show that it, we can use both languages uh, equally. And here's uh, the controls demo running on Macintosh. Again, notice it has the menu. Here's the help box and so on uh, in the Apple menu. And again, I can scale. I can scale the user interface. And, and notice it also has a Macintosh default look and feel. For